Hey everybody, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Suffragette City by David Bowie off of the Ziggy Stardust record. But before we get started, remember to like this video on YouTube and to subscribe. I'll be posting new lessons every week. And here we go. So the beginning part of the song, you're going to start with a, a G power chord. And then you're going to do a slide up to an A power chord. So it goes like this. So just like that. And it's going to do that twice. And the second time through, you're going to go into this uh, cool riff uh, based off of the A power chord. And this is a pretty common thing uh, that it's kind of a rock and roll thing to do with your pinky. So you can play the A power chord. And then you're going to put your pinky on the ninth fret of the A string. This is used in a lot of songs, um, and so it's going to be used throughout this one. So uh, the beginning part again is... And then it goes into the verse and it starts pretty similar, but you're going to uh, just do that, that pinky thing one time. And then you're going to go to the, uh, an F, so, so. So I'll play that verse part again. It's going to do it kind of two different ways, uh, uh, back to back. So that's the first way. And then the second time, it's going to go. So the difference is, is um, when you're do going from that F to the G, the first time you're going to do it, play it six times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the second time, you're going to play it four times. So again, it's And then for the next part, you're going to do the, uh, this bridge So you're going to play just like you did that first part of the verse And then you're going to slide up And then you're going to go up again And then it's right back to the verse again. So here's that bridge part again. And then back to the verse. And then for the chorus, you're going to do something kind of similar. So you're going to start with the verse. And then you're going to go up. back to that beginning part. So after the chorus, there's going to be a guitar solo, um, and it, there's a lot of bends in it. Um, you're going to start with your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and it goes something like this. So the first part is... So you're going to do those bends, and then you're going to slide up to the 7th fret, and then the, sec the next part is basically kind of built on that same phrasing, except you're going to start with your uh, index finger on the 2nd fret of the uh, D string, and you're going to kind of climb up before you do that part. So the first part goes, and then the second part goes. And uh, I should mention there's two guitars playing at the same time on this lead. So there's actually kind of uh, different parts being played that I'm not going to show you. Um, but this is kind of a combination of both of them, so it sounds most like what you can kind of hear on the record. So again, it goes. And 
and then the third part goes. So. So the tricky part with this is you're going to do that climb up again. And then you're going to hit that B string on the fifth fret with your pinky while you're holding that bend. Um, and that's just something uh, that a lot of guitar players will use that. It's just something you gotta practice. It takes some finger strength and just some practice. So again. And then the last part is similar. And it's gonna do um, it's gonna do a little bit more of an ascending descending pattern. I guess tricky part in there is is just getting the pattern right, but also it's the so you're gonna bend up. So that's a bend, pull off. And that's pretty much it for the song. There's going to be kind of like an outro type part where you play that beginning of the first part. And then there's going to be uh, at the very end and in the middle of that outro, you're going to hold a high E. And then there's going to be a pick slide. That's pretty much it. It's mostly power chords, um, and uh, that that pick slide sounds real cool. So we get a, so again that middle part of the outro is. <laughs> So that's it for this one. Um, remember to like this video and subscribe on YouTube. I'll be posting new videos every week, and I'll have the tab, the link for the tab, up in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.